How do you connect your domain to your funnel in ClickFunnels? We use a service called Namecheap because as it's named, it's cheap and it's super easy to set up. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel because we post videos like this daily. And now let's get into the video. Now we're gonna go to account settings and we're gonna go to domains and we're gonna add the domain. Register a new domain. If you don't have one, you can do that. I recommend buying uh, your domain in namecheap.com. So partner with custom.com. I'm going to add it because I already have it. And then it asks, or you can check if it's registered on Cloudflare. It's free. It's for security, um, cyber security. So I've done this step points at target.clickfunnels.com. So this is the C, C name settings in Namecheap. Looks like this. Um, so I have the domain, I bought the domain and I'm going to delete these records. So these are CNAME records that makes the domain point pointed towards click funnels, delete a uh, record, and I'm going to add new ones. So type URL redirect record. Let me just grab my link here, uh, partner with gustin.com or HTTPS www.partnerwithgustin.com. So this one is the redirect in case someone just goes to partnerwithgustin.com. So you'll see HTTPS. Make sure it looks like that permanent and then check save changes. Yes. And then one more thing we have to do is another redirect. So we're going to go to domain, redirect domain. You see that not redirect email domain. And so we're going to add a redirect partner with gustin.com. If people don't type in www, awesome. We're going to hit save changes. And now <clears throat> that's all. That's all you have to do inside of Namecheap. And so it's it's pretty easy once you know to how to do those steps. It's like everything in, in business. Once you know, it, it's easy. So uh, good job. We're going to associate with this funnel. So now when I click this domain, I'm going to, you don't have to do all of these. You, you can see it's already set to opt in, but if you have other funnels and you know, cause you can have a lot of funnels on the same domain with different paths, you can just set them to whichever one you want to be the default. Uh, make sure you click the SSL as well. Cause that's also, you know, cyber security. So settings, you'll see it here. It says setup not completed. That's because it usually takes a couple of minutes. Let's go back to this domain, I'll show you this, this, the settings here as well. If you want to change this path. So after the domain, what do you want it to say? So we'll just put free. And now you see that's the domain. Um, but then when people click it, it's going to show them this. So we're going to change it to free template course. Let's see if we update this. Uh, we visit the page. You can see that it's now live. It's working. The entire funnel is live. And uh, took us a couple of minutes, right? But you can see the domain is already working. We didn't even have to pause this video and, and wait for a couple of minutes. It's already live. So now let's test it. Boom, it takes us to, to the next page, right? That's a funnel where no matter how many and the Facebook link is working, the template is working, um, everything is working in a couple of minutes. Right, so that's it. That's how easy it is to set up your domain in Namecheap and ClickFunnels connected to all the cyber security stuff and all that. And if you want a full ClickFunnels tutorial, the ultimate ClickFunnels tutorial 2021, make sure you click somewhere around here. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. See you in the next one. Peace.